Thanks, Eric, for that introduction. And I also want to thank the uh, American Geoscience Institute for organizing this webinar series today. During the presentation today, I'll give a quick overview of what data has been released by the Critical Minerals Mapping Initiative over the last 12 months, followed by uh, basically a tour of the portal and then uh, going on to how to use the web services in other applications. So things like loading the CME data into GI software and working with, with the web service outside the portal. It's been quite a busy 12 months for the uh, Critical Minerals Mapping Initiative. Uh, we've released a new deposit classification scheme, uh, along with uh, basically a release of a new uh, global ore deposit geochemistry database. This database contains uh, nearly 10,000 uh, uh, geochemical samples from about 1,500 uh, ore deposits around the world. Uh, uh, we've also uh, reclassified the deposits using the, uh, the new classification scheme and uh, delivers the databases for web mapping and web feature services. Uh, we've also released uh, a, a sediment hosted uh, lead zinc mineral prospective e-maps for North America and Australia. Uh, this includes classic dominated uh, lead zinc uh, mineral systems as well as Mississippi Valley type zinc uh, uh, lead systems and uh, the data has been made available through the Critical Mineral Mapping Initiative portal. Over the next few slides, I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the uh, the CME data portal. Uh, it can be accessed via uh, the link URL at the top, so criticalminerals.org. Uh, how this uh, tour is going to work, I'm going to start from the left-hand side and slowly move to the um, the right showing the main features of the portal. So the first thing I want to show you is the about uh, menu. So the about menu covers off on what's the reason why this portal was built and gives you useful links uh, to uh, 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 the different sort of survey organisations. The layer menu is one of the main menus uh, within the portal. It gives you full control of the uh, map display. Uh, for example, we can actually change the base map, as shown here. Uh, we've got a series of different base layers which we can actually uh, change. The layer menu also gives you full control over the map layers. So you can actually tell that the layers turned on uh, by the fact that it's a different color. So uh, there's buttons to fit to the zoom into the extent, uh, add or remove the layer, uh, change the opacity, uh, change the style, uh, view the legend. The about button provides more information about the particular layer in question. It also has the button to copy the web service URL so you can take into other um, software packages. It also has a basic download link. So the formats that we currently support are uh, CSV, JSON, KML and Shapefile. Uh, we also have a link to the basic web service details. So this provides more basic contextual information about the particular uh, layer. The other button we have is uh, filter. So we can actually uh, filter the data, data uh, basically on, on the fly. This is very much similar to like a, a, a standard GIS package. So we can set up uh, different uh, filters. So for example, uh, uh, we can quickly uh, uh, filter on uh, basic deposit environments. So here I'm just showing the ba basin hydrothermal uh, deposits. Users also have the ability to add their, add their own data to the portal via the custom layer. So for instance, we have, a user can add uh, shape files, uh, CSV uh, ASCII files, and uh, things like uh, GeoTIFF raster imagery, as well as uh, adding uh, basic uh, uh, web services that are not currently in, in the portal. There's also a, a inspection tool. So if the user clicks on the basic data point, it brings up the information about that uh, individual point. 
as I previously mentioned, we've also recently released a prospectively model for sediment hosted lead zinc mineral systems for North America and Australia. There is an accompanying paper that Chris has uh, released in all geology reviews that explains the methodology that was used in detail. The portal also has a basic uh, location search function, which you can use to zoom into uh, places of interest. For example, uh, Mount Isa in Queensland. The portal also has links to uh, publications uh, released by CME in the last 12 months. They can be accessed via the uh, data and publications menu on the left hand side. And one of the recent examples is the uh, new deposit classification scheme, as you can see here. Uh, the the basic menu has uh, basically a link to the actual uh, catalogue, as well as the direct download link to the publication itself. We've also been uh, developing a series of, of, of analytical tools. So uh, we've got some simple basic profile uh, tools so that uh, users can actually uh, uh, visualize uh, elevation da data. We have a basic inspection tool that I've previously showed you and a measurement tool that uh, measures area and distance and line distance. Uh, well, the tool I'm going to concentrate on now is the in inorganic geochemistry plotting tool. Uh, which uh, can be accessed here. So uh, this tool uh, uh, uses the uh, uh, deposit geochemistry data that I previously sh showed. Uh, it has uh, two search functions. So you can do a basic spatial, uh, uh, spatial search, a database search, and it also gives you the ability to load your own, own uh, basic data into the uh, tools to save it for comparative purposes. So what I'm going to do now is just do a quick spatial search over uh, Zambia. So I've uh, drawn a polygon and I'm just going to search for the samples. So this has returned uh, basically 74 uh, results. We can view the statistics. So for each of the elements within the uh, web service. Uh, and then we can also plot the data. So for instance, uh, this is a basic box and whisker plot uh, with the uh, crustal uh, uh, abundance uh, uh, in red. We can also display the actual, uh, basically uh, the points. So this is the actual, uh, the actual data points displayed. And uh, we could also have the ability to uh, basically normalize. So this is a very good plot to actually see what elements within in, within the basically Sambian copper belt are elevated. And so for instance, you can see here that uh, 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 co cobalt's uh, elevated. We also got uh, uh, basically uh, zinc that is elevated, uh, sulfur and various of the, uh, sort of the platinum group, group elements. The other plots that we've uh, uh, developed is uh, basically a radio, radio, radar plot. And again, so we can actually see the differences in uh, basically concentration of, uh, of, the, of the different elements very quickly. I'm going to quickly show you some of the other features of the uh, portal as well. So first of all, we've got a shared map feature. So this uh, creates a shared, a shared map URL so you can share with uh, your colleagues. Uh, we also uh, have a button to actually auto save your session. So if you exit out of the uh, portal and want to return to the uh, current uh, view that you from your previous session, uh, this is basically a way of doing this, that. Uh, the portal also has a, uh, basically a 3D globe, so you can view uh, uh, the data sets uh, on, on the globe, as well as uh, imp importing your own uh, 3D, 3D, 3D data sets into the uh, portal as well. Uh, there is a basically splitter tool, which splits the map view into uh, two sections, which uh, you can basically then quickly uh, uh, compare two different uh, data sets. Uh, we also have a reset map view. Uh, this uh, basically uh, uh, returns you to the uh, default uh, uh, map view, which is the uh, one shown at the moment. Uh, we have a zoom to current location button as well. Uh, 
and also uh, basically the coordinates of the mouse pointer. So when you uh, zoom around the locations, it's quite e quick and easy to get to find the location of the, of the uh, mouse. Uh, we're also developing a basic chat bot, uh, a chat bot to actually help uh, uh, with uh, uh, the usability of the portal. And uh, as this is uh, very much uh, still in development, we are also happy to uh, receive feedback. And lastly, we've got a dynamic scale bar. The critical minerals data that I've uh, showed in the portal has also been published as web services. For people who are not familiar with uh, web services, there are two main types that we've used. Uh, there's the WMS of the web mapping service, and that's designed to stream uh, data over the internet for web applications. The other type is the web feature service, which actually contains the data tables. This uh, uh, can be accessed by the links shown on, on the slide and can be easily imported into uh, uh, GI software, software like uh, QGIS. This uh, rather complicated slide is just showing examples of the uh, various requests you can make of web services. So the first uh, URL is a WMS get capability request and that's basically providing basic information about the web service and the particular information about the various layers within that, that web service. The uh, second URL is a, a WFS describe feature request, and that's returning information about the actual data table. So the basic field names, if it's a, a free te text or a numeric values, for instance. And the third and fourth uh, URLs are actually get feature request. So a get feature is actually requesting the actual data tables. So the first uh, URL there is a CSV request and that's returning the uh, uh, data tables as a CSV format. And the, uh, the last uh, URL on the page is uh, returning a, a zip shape file. So that's basically a, a basically spatial format. One of the benefits of publishing the data as web services is we can actually uh, query the data on the fly. So what I'm going to do now is show you what the different components of the web service URL do. So the first part is uh, uh, the web service URL itself. As you can see, this is a critical minerals web service we're using here. The second part is what sort of requests we're making of the web service. So this is a get feature request, so we're re requesting the data. Uh, the third part is for actually this, what service we're using and the version of the web service. Uh, we can also uh, request the data in various different formats. So in this instance, we're requesting the data as a zipped shapefile. And uh, we can also uh, have the basic projection of the data in whatever format we want as well. So if this part of the URL is uh, basically the layer table we are going to query. And this this part here is showing you the uh, CQL filter. So the first part is uh, 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 basically requesting the deposit environment is like basin hydrothermal. And then the second part, it was, so we're using an statement. So, and uh, cobalt greater than 500 ppm. We can also uh, include uh, basically um, uh, geometry uh, filter as well. So uh, this part of the URL is actually requesting the uh, 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 data within a particular po polygon. Thank you.